What you doing, Jesse? Eating breakfast. Eating breakfast. Uh, yeah. We are we're gonna try out. I've already tried it once now. My town car. The brakes, I don't know what type of pads it has, but it just shreds dust everywhere and gets the rims super nasty on the daily. Um, and even though we don't drive this car much, it gets nasty. So I'm trying the Black Magic aluminum wheel cleaner. It's the three in one. It's got that pH crap that's specially formulated for aluminum wheels. Cleans, polishes, and protects. It's on sale right now at your local auto zones for like four bucks. So I was gonna get the, the mother's brand stuff, but that was on sale. So let's go ahead and let you see the wheels. They are almost a blackish gray color. And yes, don't look at the rotors. I know the rotors are shot and that it needs pads. I'm gonna do it. This is that's why they're getting so nasty. I'll do it eventually. I'm lazy. This is the new pad and rotor side. And they look pretty good. I think the caliper's bad on this back wheel though, but shh, nobody's gotta know. So Let's get the uh, the cleaner, and I'm using my little teeny little 1500 psi pressure washer thingy. And there's a couple ways you can do this. The bottle says this this works uh, if your wheels aren't that dirty. You can literally spray it on and let it sit, and then pressure wash it off or wa rinse it off. So we're not gonna touch it by hand yet. We're literally just gonna soak this stuff on here like so, let it sit for a minute or so, come back and see what all pressure washes off. Now because these wheels are super nasty, we're gonna get a good thick layer on there. Usually I just do this by hand and soapy water and scrub it, but I'm tired of doing that so we're gonna try a specialty wheel cleaner. Now that that's soaked down, we're going to come around to the back wheel. Go ahead and spray it down. Let me trade cameras, or trade hands. There we go. doesn't specify how much to use, so I'm just going to kick it on there really good. There we go. Ah, screw it, just get the whole thing. Alright. Once again, this is without scrubbing or anything. We're just gonna let that cake on there for just a second. Spray it off. If you want to look at the other side, I've already done it. That's how they came out without scrubbing. Not perfect, but it got a good 90% of it off at least. This one, same way. It's not perfect. There's still stuff in the middle down there. But like I said, remember, we didn't touch these wheels. We literally just sprayed it on, sprayed it off. So I hadn't washed these wheels in weeks. And the brakes are worn on them. We've been, we did a lot of city driving last week with it. So stopping and going doesn't help. So if you wash your car regularly and keep your wheels regularly cleaned that stuff right there will do it without you having to touch it if you you know you give it the, the good once or twice a week bath you can just use this and not have to touch them ever again but for me and my superior laziness that's not the case and Jesse's uh, trying to convince Jesse right here we're trying to sell the EG coupe and he needs to go get, no pfft, word toss and he needs to go pick up this Mercedes that I found found an E190 and a or a 190e whatever it is and then also found a uh god what was the other one it's a 300 i think or a truck, or a truck. and I, i'm still pretty sure he needs a mercedes so convince jesse he needs to go get the mercedes thank you 20 subscribers and i will uh-huh well I'm gonna come over here 
There we go, we're literally just gonna pressure wash it off. So here's what you get without any scrubbing whatsoever. Look at that. Once again, it is not perfect. But keep in mind, we didn't touch this with a brush. So if you use that cleaner with a brush, a little brush to get in between all the places, think of how clean it'll come then. So let's go ahead and move on to the back wheel. Like I said, for, for you not have to do anything other than spray it and rinse it, this is freaking awesome. I'm gonna do half this wheel so you can see before and after. Okay, as you can see, there's still big deposits down here in the crevices, but the line of cleanliness and, and dirt, I mean, this works. This works very, very well. So if you get you a brush and don't be so lazy and scrub it, yeah. Which I just wanted to know how well this stuff worked on its own considering the bottle said for some rims or not so dirty rims you didn't have to scrub it. I just wanted to know how it would work. So it works well. That worked very very well. So now we're gonna go and, we're gonna go and scrub it with a lab brush. And then it'll be really really squeaky clean. So, other than that, it's just a lazy day. I'm gonna wash this and still wanna go to Hatcher Gardens. I don't know if Jesse wants to or not, but I want to. Oh, I got me a tag for the front. Lincoln, look at all the bugs on it. I don't remember where in the world I drove to get all these bugs, but... Yeah, up and down the interstate. This thing's covered in bugs. And I gotta wash the inside, too. Or, huh? Did you? Yeah. Well, see if you can sell it to him so we can go get the Mercedes. Yeah, I know. Look, you need the Merc, okay? No, you... Okay, well, you need the Mercedes. Think of all the awesome skids you could do in a Mercedes. And it's a Mercedes. You forget that it's a Mercedes. Ugh, okay. New projects. Uh, uh. He who shall not be named. Stay tuned. Yeah. So. It's a good one. Y'all like it. I'm going to finish washing this boat. It's not a boat. Get my. It's a boat. I'm talking about the car. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about this boat. I'm going to finish washing my boat and get my peanut cooker out the back. Your what? Got a peanut cooker to bowl peanuts with. A crock pot? No. Why does everybody say crock pot? No. We are far enough south, you don't make bull peanuts in a crock pot. You make them... Little cricket does. Yeah, well, I ain't buying a little cricket freaking bull peanuts. 
I'm talking look, look like the meth lab setup that you use to make boiled peanuts with the salt in them. Yeah. I got the whole freaking setup. We can we are in business. Moonshine boiled peanuts. You get peanuts and you get shit faced. That'd be pretty. I don't know. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna finish washing this town car and then we're gonna go find something else to film and do. Why don't y'all have a boat? I get the Mercury truck. There's T30. Okay, yeah, do that. Comment below. The right now it's between a, it's a '95 Mercedes. I can't remember what exact number. It's the it's got the the straight six. It's automatic. It is not the fourmatic. Um, and it was he rear-ended somebody, and the hood's a little bent, and both the headlights, the lenses are busted, and the grill is cracked. Still runs and drives high miles, but it's in really good shape. Um, and then the pickup truck is a 94 Chevrolet Silverado, uh, 1500, whatever they do their numbers with. Yeah, it's a Z71, so it's full drive. It's a short bed, standard cab, but it originally had a V8 in it, and someone swapped in a 4.3 Vortec V6. So I like the the 4.3s, and it, I'm I'm sorry, it might not be the Vortec. It might be the regular 4.3 with the misty sprayer on top of the throttle body <coughs> um but silverado four-wheel drive with the 4.3 or the 95 mercedes and it's a gas mercedes which i think you need some mercedes he needs, he needs to go get the mercedes telling him if he drove that Mercedes he would never want another Honda again it'd fix all his problems problem, I got three of them. you can go get a, a Volvo a yeah go get you a brick you bricks don't die right if you but if you get the Volvo I'll get the Mercedes oh and did I mention we the Silverado we have to trade the EG coupe for the Mercedes is four hundred dollars four hundred bucks clean title runs and drives Mercedes 95 truck. So, vote Mercedes truck, truck. and we'll catch you in the next one guys I'm gonna go finish cleaning this boat stay awesome Mercedes